What's going on gamers? It feels good to wake up in the morning and know that I got an incredible fucking video for you guys today. It's your boy Roll Easy. Make sure guys you hit that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Turn on them post notifications so you can be more informed and just more knowledge, man. Because that's what we're all about. Knowledge? Is that a word? Knowledgeable. Yeah. You want to be more knowledgeable, all right? And that's what this fucking video right here is going to do. All right, so let me just go over what this is going to be like. As you can see, this is a pretty damn long video. Longest video I've posted, you know, since the channel started. And which wasn't that long ago. And we've been growing, guys. By the way, yeah, we've been growing immensely and very quickly. These solo dupe glitches are fucking awesome. I love the questions. Take a look at this. I got a fucking comet right there that spawned one of them special rare comets. I'll do a video on that eventually. But yeah, so this video, guys, that I'm bringing to you on this beautiful fucking Saturday morning, which I hope all you guys are doing good, man, and refreshed, ready to dupe some cars and make some fucking money. I'm going to show you guys how to actually get out of every possible situation, all right? Every possible outcome that you can get while doing this dupe glitch. Well, not every, I'd say, because there probably are a few more outcomes. But I'm going to show you the four, four of the main ones that I ended up going through. Let me tell you, I've done this dupe glitch, you know, a bunch of times. And there's a method where you can actually farm all these and without leaving the session and just keep doing them back to back to back. But you won't always get the same outcome after getting glitched. And as you can see right here, it's $980,000 retro. You want to hit the blue thumbs up just for that. Let me know if you want me to make a video upgrading an elegy if you want to, or a retro, if you want to get it up to that. I think I can get it up a little bit higher, to be honest. I've sold one for 983 before. But yeah, man, that's 980 grand. That's 20 grand under a million. All right, not many people can do that. So what I'm going to be showing you is like I said, all f or four of the most common po possible outcomes that can happen after getting glitched out in the garage uh, or heading into the garage slash heading into the MOC. All right, this video is going to be long, but you guys are going to learn something just while you're duping, throw this bitch on and just fucking, you know, let's get let's get to it. All right, you can learn some good shit. All right, so. First of all, we're going to spawn in the garage, as you can see right here. This is the first one, and I'm going to show you my mechanics list right over here, and I'm going to show you what I have. All my garages are pretty much full except for this one. See, I got four dupes in there. All right, remember that. That was four dupes right there. And uh, once again, shout out to Morphe over on Seven Sins, man, for coming up with this. Bruntango also, he came up with a lot of the little fine tunings as well. Him and I actually were both thinking the same thing. We both posted, I, my, visio, my video was actually posted a little bit earlier than his, but we were both doing the creator invite only session thing. I thought that was the most logical instead of, you know, finding a new session or anything like that. Creator invite only is the quickest way. So shout out to both of those guys. Links will be in the, in the description. Anyways, let's get glitched out. So at this point, you're going to hear the garage door. I'm going to turn off the radio. And you're going to hear the garage door, and then I am going to press right D-pad and then A. So, this is the normal kind of spawn that you want. Alright, remember, we got a full garage. Retro inside the car that we want to... Uh, retro inside the MOC. And... Yeah, empty spaces, man. That's what you need. All right, so here we go. We're gonna just jump into creator. Once you get glitched in the garage like that and you spawn, you don't have to switch any cars. Just go into creator. All right. And once you're in creator, go ahead and press start again. Go over to online and then play GT online, invite only session. All right, and I did forget to go over the requirements. You want that garage to be full. We're not switching cars anymore, nothing like that. All right, and then car you want to dupe in your MOC. Simple as that. Flat surface, you want to trigger that animation in the MOC. Go ahead and go to Eclipse Towers, and as you can see right here, five dupes. You got all five dupes right there. All right, and this is actually the dupe, by the way, the one that spawns in the street. All right, now we're going over the second one. This is the infinite loading screen. All right, so on the infinite loading screen, 
You can do one of two things. Actually, you can do a bunch of shit, all right? Now, what most people, most YouTubers are saying, and as we look into my mechanics list so that you can see the garage, and I'm going to show you exactly how many cars I got. Go to Eclipse Towers. There's four, all right? So as you can see, four retros in there. All right, so what a lot of YouTubers are saying is start up an invite only, or sorry, uh, when you get glitched on the loading screen, you want to be in a different targeting mode and you want to accept the first, join a friend, accept the first alert, decline the second alert. That's if you want to spawn back down into that session. I don't think you have to do that at all. I mean, if you do want to spawn back into that session, you know, go ahead, more power to you. But honestly, I'm going to show you guys what you can also possibly do. All right, that's the thing. There's no one way to do this glitch. There's many possible ways. I'm showing you the four ways that you can still get a duplicate. Even Because I know some of you guys might think you fucked up the glitch. You didn't. This glitch has a lot of leeway. And it'll let you do whatever the fuck you want. It's pretty pretty amazing. Alright, so check it out. So I got the garage full alert. You want to trigger the animation and then press A. <clears throat> now on this one, all of a sudden I spawn in the garage. And then look at that. It kind of kicks me out. And then into an infinite loading screen. Now... Like I said, you can be in a different targeting mode, go to join a friend through the dashboard, accept the first alert, decline the second, you'll spawn right back down there. Or, you can do what I did, I wasn't in a different targeting mode than any of my friends. So all I did was, I pressed my Xbox button to go to the dashboard, joined one of my friends, and look at that, I ended up just joining into his game. Now, I'm gonna let this keep going a little bit because I wanted to explain it a bit more thorough, but the car is gonna dupe no matter what you do you can you can go back into that session if you want just like that and uh with the targeting mode trick the car is gonna dupe and then you can go into creator later if you want or you can just jump sessions remember it's not going to creator that's duping the car it's just jumping sessions that's all it is man and as you can see right here i joined my friend i'm actually in a public lobby right now from the invite only and I'm going to go to my mechanics list, and I'm going to prove to you that there's one more on the list now. Check it out. There's five now. We had four before. Now we have five. So it does indeed dupe right there. And like I said, joining into a public session. All right. So number three, getting glitched inside the car. This was actually the first outcome I ever had when I did this glitch uh, in the beginning uh, when we were switching cars and ordering up an elegy and all that bullshit. So let's go to the mechanics list. I want to show you what I got. There's two in there at this point. All right, in this clip, there's only two retros in that Eclipse Tower. All my other garages are, are filled. Remember, all you guys that are new to this, you wanna have empty spaces in all your garages, or in a bunch of your garages, so you can just keep doing this and filling up and filling up, all right? I'll be coming out with a future video on how to farm these. Uh, Bruntango and Lost Glitches, actually. I saw a good video on them, and they were doing that method, so it looks pretty, pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. I recorded this footage really late last night. Just woke up, so I wanted to get it out to you guys. All right, so as we come out of the MOC with our car we want to do, I'm gonna go ahead and back up and we're gonna end up getting glitched out again right here. And all these are timing, man. Like, it's about within a second or two of, of each of them. All right, depending on you know what what happens with the outcome it's just with its timing within pressing a all right so check this out we get our loading screen and loading screen in the garage no we're not we're inside the fucking car all right so from inside the car you can also as you guessed it you can also still do i walked outside of the car you know just to see what would happen you know what just go ahead jump into creator right from here start that bitch up and by now i hope you guys do know the drill but yeah if you're still with me on this video man remember hit that like button all right that like button really does mean a lot it brings more people into the video and the more people that see likes on it the more they're intrigued by the video and want to watch and stay and possibly subscribe all right so make sure guys all my subscribers all you new guys like the video please it does help all right so we're spawned back down from creator and then joining an invite only session and we're going to check our mechanics list remember we had two retros i believe starting out in eclipse tower and there's three which is actually the one right here that we got all right and so that's once again to prove to you guys that the card does duplicate 
all these different things can happen to you, man, and you can still dupe the car. All right? None of those things screw up the glitch. This glitch is very flexible. Very. Very is an understatement. All right? And now for the last method. This is when you get in the MOC. Similar, you don't spawn inside of the car, but you do spawn inside the MOC. And I'm going to show you guys what happens uh, right here, I'm actually going to park the MOC so you can kind of see the full process a little bit. I'll come out with a future video today, definitely more about just getting set up and stuff. But flat surface, man, right there in the MOC. With the MOC, very simple. You want to trigger that animation. You want to be about a car's length away, you know, from that other blue circle. And I'm going to show you guys right now on my mechanics list how many dupes we got right now, or how many retros I got in that one garage. All right, so Eclipse Towers. There's three, all right? So I got three retros in that garage right now. Just pointing out that that garage is full. We don't have to switch cars anymore. I have literally just a shit, <clears throat> excuse me, a shitload of retros right there in Murrieta Heights. All right. Now, as we make our way into the MOC, we're just gonna grab the car as we normally do. We're gonna drive it out and we're gonna get glitched out. And spawning in the MOC and in the garage, the timing is literally probably within less than a second of each other. As the MOC door closes, you press A and any almost any of these things can happen, man. You might be late, you might be eating cheeseburger or some shit, you might be taking a drink, or eating a or, oh my god, drinking something. <laughs> and that might happen to you. So, here we go. I get glitched out again. <clears throat> And this time I get glitched inside the MOC. And the reason I'm doing all these outcomes, and look at that shit, the door is completely off the car. Pretty fucking crazy. And I'm doing all these outcomes because these were happening to a lot of people and they were asking me questions. What do I do when this happens? What do I do when that happens? Well, check it out. I took the car out and it's bricked as fuck. Won't let me drive. Won't let me do shit with it, except for turn the goddamn wheel. And I think the lights turn on when I press the, uh, the brake. Pretty sure that's all that happens. You might be able to honk the horn, I'm not sure. But check this out, from inside the car, go ahead and start up fucking Creator. You can just start that bitch up once again. And I promise you, you're gonna get a dupe out of it. All right, press start. Once you're in Creator, online, play GTA online. Invite motherfucking only session. Load that bitch up. And as we spawn back down, believe it or not, we took the car out of the MOC this actually is our original that's on the street this time. This is the only way that you can actually get the original on the street. The duplicate goes straight into the garage. So one, two, three, four. Right there, we had three before. But yeah, this is the original, honestly, that we have right here on the street. Because remember, we took it out of the garage. Uh, or out of our MSC, sorry. And then we, uh, <laughs> we actually went to Creator. Normally we were going to Creator from inside the MOC, and I'm going to prove this to you. Watch. See, as we drive it in, it just lets us right in. On any of the other ones, when you go to drive that car into your MOC that you spawn with on the street, it'll ask you to transfer. That's because that's the uh, that's the duplicate, all right? The original is always in the MOC. So, guys, I hope you learned something. Hit that like button. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications so you can be informed about any more fresh and informative dope motherfucking content. My name is Roll Easy. I hope everybody today learned something, and I hope all of you guys just keep doing this glitch as much as you can. There will be more future videos about this glitch also, as long as it doesn't get patched. I don't think it will until, you know, the weekend's over. We'll see what happens. The last, you know, dupe glitches did last us for a while. And, uh... Yeah, if you guys want some outfit tutorials, man, whatever you guys want, put it down in the comments, man. I love the interaction. We got a shitload of comments on the last video, most that I've had pretty much on any other video that we've posted here and, uh, you know, done on the channel. But this channel is looking really good. I can't say how much, I honestly can't even express how happy I am and how far we've come in such a short time. This is really fun to me, man, making these videos, teaching you guys everything I know about this. I love glitches. These glitches are fun as fuck. As you can see, I don't need the money. I do this for you guys, all right? So, until next time, I'm Roll Easy, and I'm out of here, guys. Have a good day.